What's up guys and welcome back to Software and Auto Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty in general. Every single Call of Duty that's out there that people are busy playing right now. I'm talking about Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Cold War, Vanguard, whatever Call of Duty you are playing. Now a lot of people are having this problem where they're getting a DirectX error. So it's a DirectX Encountable error which is Unrecoverable error. And then a lot of people are also running into this where it says connection failed, unable to access online services, and then you need to quit to your desktop. Then a lot of people are also running into the problem where it's a black screen error like this. Now I've taken all these screenshots to, sh to show you that a lot of people are running into these type of problems. Now I've been running into a problem where I open up my battle net, I go and play the game. While I'm in the game, my game crashes, it goes da -dun, all my screens go black. And I press Control delete to open up my task manager to force close the game. It doesn't work. I literally need to restart my whole computer. Now I found out a couple of ways to fix all three of these problems. And all you need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. All right, let's jump into the first one. Okay, so the first one will be the DirectX Encountable Error, right? This one over here. Number one, I just want to get this out the way. If you are running a low-end gaming graphics card or a low-end graphics card in general, like a laptop, HD graphics and stuff like that, if you do not have the requirements, the recommended requirements to play the game, you're going to run into that problem a lot. Trust me. But there is ways around it and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button up here and type in settings, just like this, and press enter and go to update and security. Make sure that your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. This is the first very important step to go and do. Now there's optional ones that you can go ahead and do. You'll get a square block over here that will say download and install. I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. I actually did mine last night. So I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. Please go ahead and install that. Once you are done with that, you're going to go back here and type in device manager just like this and open up device manager you are going to go to the display adapters and it's going to tell you what graphics card you are currently running now this lets you know and informs you what graphics card you're currently using and what graphics card you currently have installed in your machine if it is a dedicated graphics card if it's a built-in graphics card like laptops whatever the case might be you're just going to right click on you and say update drivers you're not going to say search automatically you're going to say browse my computer for drivers let me pick from a list available drivers on my computer and you're going to select your graphics card itself and say next. Now I'm not going to do this because it's going to reinstall my graphics card drivers from over. So what it's going to do is it's going to do a fresh install for your graphics card drivers. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this if you're running into a DirectX problem. Now I can't click next because then my OBS is going to stop and everything's the recording is going to stop. So I can't do this. So just to inform you people, highly recommend it to go ahead and do this. Reinstall your graphics card drivers from overs. Now there is another way of doing this. Um, for people out there that don't know what graphics cards they're running and stuff like that, you just come here and it will say display adapters and it will tell you what graphics card you are currently running. Now there's another way of installing your graphics card drivers from overs and actually reinstalling the drivers and then also it will give you options like for instance if you're an NVIDIA user, an AMD user, an Intel HD user, whatever the case might be, you can go ahead and do different types of things on the website where you go and download your drivers. For instance, I'm just going to open up Google Chrome and I'm just going to do this TX2060, just like this driver download. So as you can see, like I said, that's my graphics card I'm currently running. You are going to type in your graphics card and then driver download. And then it's going to give you the first option will be the place where you want to be. So this is where you want to be. And as you can see, it's already selected my graphics card for me. I don't have to still click inside here. Just make double sure that it is your graphics card that it's looking for. Then you click on search. Once it's done, you click on download and you go ahead and install a fresh copy of your graphics card drivers. Now, if you're a video user like me and it gives you an option to install GeForce Experience, I highly recommend you go ahead and install it. It's very important to have this application on your machine. No, it's not important to have this application on your machine to run your games through this application. It's actually important to keep your graphics card drivers up to date. So you go to drivers, click on check for updates, and it's going to say checking for updates. You have the latest GeForce game ready drivers installed. Now, it will just let you know that you have the latest drivers installed. And if you do click on here and it tells you that there's a new driver, 
All you need to do is click download, express installation, and download and install your graphics card drivers. The nice thing about GeForce Experience is it will let you know in the corner over here with a yellow little dot over here, it will let you know when a new driver is released. Okay, now I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for the DirectX install for you to go ahead and download every single DirectX that's ever been released. Now I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. All you need to go ahead and do is click on the link in the description down below. I'll call it DirectX install, and then just click on the website, go and download DirectX and reinstall DirectX. Every single version that's ever been released, install it. I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do is this. People are running into this problem over here where it says connection failed. Okay, now there's a simple way of fixing this. A lot of people are saying that you can go and check for like, you know, scan and repair. You can go ahead and do that. Um, scan and repair your game files and see if that works. If it doesn't, you are going to go ahead and do this. Go to show in Explorer like this and go to your Call of Duty where it's installed, okay? You're going to go into Call of Duty Modern Warfare, scroll all the way down, and then go to modernwarfare.exe. Right-click on it, go to Properties, go to Compatibility Mode, and then say Disable Full Screen Optimization, run the program and administrator, and say Apply. You're going to say Change High DPI Settings, click on this, I sign into Windows, click on this, Application, and say OK. Say Apply, go to Change Settings for All Users, and you're going to do the exact same thing over here. Say Apply, and then do the exact same thing as you did early on. Say OK, say Apply, say OK, and say OK. Once you are done with that, you're going to close out of this. Now, for a lot of people out there, a lot of people don't know where their card is installed. You might know, obviously, where your card is installed, whatever the case might be. It's very easy to find. Just click over here and go to Show in Explorer. Now, this is for people that's running into black screen errors, the part where you're playing your game and then all of a sudden it goes did -dun, and then your screen goes black and your game crashes or whatever the case might be or you can't connect to online services this is a very easy step to do all you need to do is go over here so where your call of duty is installed that's your call of duty folder yours might be called something different i renamed my folder so don't stress about it just click one back that will highlight your call of duty now i'm going to rename this quickly just like this i'm going to call it call of duty is broken just like that and then I'm going to cut go into the folder over here this is my Call of Duty Modern Warfare right I'm going to cut it out of here and then put it into this folder over here and say paste now my previous folder is called Call of Duty if I open it up it's empty you're going to delete this folder now since you don't have anything inside that folder now your COD has been moved into a new folder like this you're going to close out of this and now you can see it still says play by me if it says play by you whatever the case might be, install, whatever the case might be, what you're going to do is you're going to restart it. You're going to say exit, and you're going to close out of it, and you're going to restart your Battle.net just like this. Restart your Battle.net, and then sign into your account. Now, for a lot of people out there, this happened to me before as well. I restarted my Battle.net, and it still said there, just install, no locate game. I just said install. Then just go ahead and click here and click exit again and open up your Battle.net again and it will eventually say locate the game. Then you click on locate the game and now you know where your Call of Duty is installed. So I'm going to go to where my Call of Duty is installed. It's right over here. Then I go to Call of Duty is broken, the folder I just made. And don't double click on this over here where it says Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Don't double click on it. Just click on it once and say select folder then it's going to say waiting initializing updating and then it's going to say play now this worked for me this where i get black screen errors direct x errors can't connect to services this worked for me 100 percent just by moving the game's files into a different folder and now my card works perfectly fine so i'm hoping these settings that i just showed you now works for you leave a comment down below which one actually worked for you and what problem you had and which one actually resolved the problem in the comments down below. And if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new year. And ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'm just here to help the Warzone community. And as always, peace out.